hey guys welcome back to the channel it's farmhouse mama so today's video is going to be a little bit different sorry about that today's video is going to be a little bit different than what i normally do today i am going to be talking about uh health overall well not health overall but my weight loss journey so as most of you guys know i have been trying to lose between 10 to 15 pounds and somehow amazingly i've managed to do it i don't know how but i'm going to tell you some of the things that i think attributed to my weight loss so, um, last year, I think I was like, uh, 180 between, I fluctuated between 180 and 185. And I mean, it looked nice on me, but you're talking about somebody who's been like a buck 20, a buck 30 her whole life. So I wasn't really happy with it. So I decided to start a weight loss journey last year. And I started going to the gym around this time last year. And it was working for me, but I noticed that I still wasn't losing like my stomach. You know, I was getting arms and legs, but I wasn't losing my stomach or anything like that. So, Sorry, I'll be doing a lot of moving around in this video too. But um, and please excuse the dog, he's so rude. But I noticed that I wasn't um, losing my stomach like I wanted to. You know, certain areas I was just really struggling with. And so what I did was I started eating a lot more protein. So I started adding a lot more protein to my diet, which mostly consists of what you see me making here which is just some four boiled eggs and one of these uh, lemon pepper tuna seasoning from Bumblebee and so um, I started eating this like every day or every other day and I think this is what contributed to it because I probably wasn't getting enough protein in my body because you know when we get older we gotta change the way we eat and we gotta start doing things differently so um that's what I started inducing or incorporating I'm sorry inducing that's what I started incorporating into my diet so this is what i would have for breakfast and this would keep me full till a little bit after well till almost dinner time so and yes it, it kept me that full so i didn't need to snack on any other stuff and i'm not gonna lie i'm not you know saying i snack on carrots and vegetables and stuff like that i do eat my vegetables but you know, I'm not going to just sit here, excuse me, I'm not just going to sit here and say that that's all I snapped on and that's what I did because I'd be lying to you guys. But, I just need a little, it's coming out, a little bit of salt. I love black pepper, so I got to have a lot of black pepper on here. Okay, and you can eat this just like this. You can add a little um, vinegar to it. Or you can just use a little bit of salad dressing. So I just use a little bit of salad dressing on mine just to kind of, so it's not so dry. But this is pretty much what I eat. Okay, so this is what I'm going to have for breakfast. Well... I had to go out earlier today, so I had to take my mom to her appointment. So this is almost kind of like lunch. So it's around 1250 and this is going to actually keep me full until 
dinner time, which should probably be between five and six o'clock. So this is what I've been eating. This is how I've been getting my protein. This is how I've actually, and the weight just start falling off. So I'm thinking that this is what happened. I started getting more protein. I stopped snacking. Um, I've been stopped drinking sodas. I used to um, crave sweets a lot. I don't crave sweets that much anymore. Um, let me see what else. I take my vitamins. So I got my vitamin D here. And I also have my iron pills here as well. So I do take both of those. I try to alternate um, between the vitamin D and the iron pill. Like take one every other day. Because um, sometimes the iron pills affect my blood pressure. Yes, I still have blood pressure issues. The last time I went to the doctor, they were fine. So it was fine. So um, she didn't want to take me off the medicine. So hopefully the next time I go to the doctor's, I'll be ready to come off the medicine or at least I can come off and start trying something new like um, magnesium because I heard that that was good. But that's another video. Anyway, um, yeah, so I do need to start working out again because I do notice that although I started losing the weight, some stuff like, okay, like for instance, my stomach, I can see my abs again. Y'all, I can't even tell you the last time I saw them. So I can see my abs again. And um, the most shocking part was when my daughter walked up behind me and she hugged me from behind. And she asked me, she said, Mommy, where did your stomach go? And that's when I knew. I was like, oh, uh, that's probably the first time I actually really noticed it. But I was like, I was like, you know what? <laughs> I said, I told you I want my stomach back because she has the shape now that I had then and I told her I was coming to get my shape back so um that was like one thing that you know let me know I was losing the weight which was very encouraging but on the other side um some things have fallen down like let's say for instance my backside which looks great in a pair of jeans but once you take them jeans off it's like um is your butt falling down a hill are you okay are you so I need to start squatting again and my plan is to do um 30 days of squats and re re little, 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 little. videotape it or record it for you guys do 30 days of squats 50 squats a day um just to see so you can see what happens because i mean to each his own but i don't understand the butt implants and the injections when you can just squat like squat and stand back up so but if you've had that done before you know like i said to each your own that's your own preference but i am going to squat i'm not going to worry about you know getting muscles in my arms right now because my waist is smaller so i do want you know i don't want to look skinny i want to look proportionate and the last thing is drink your water get your water in i like to eat mine frozen i drink it ice cold I don't really care for warm, but if you like room temperature water or just get in a big glass of ice, if you're not a big water drinker, hold your nose when you drink it or just drink it real fast. Just get your water in. Not that, you know, and I personally think that when you start to put flavors in water or you buy that flavored water, that it takes away from it. To me, it's no longer water, but that's just my opinion. But get your water in. Even if you, okay, if you got to add something to your water, get you your bottle of water, add you some cucumber to it, add you some strawberries to it, add you some mint leaves to it. You know, something like that to give it flavor versus buying the store stuff because you don't really know what's in there. You know, put you some lemon in your water, you know, something like that. So I am going to be showing you guys, I mean, get honestly, get your water in. This water will help you, uh, go to the bathroom um you're gonna be peeing a whole lot more but tmi but this water will help you go to the bathroom it will help cleanse you and it'll help move you it'll keep your skin hydrated it'll keep you from that and my body knows when it needs water because my heart will start palpitating or my skin will be extra dry or you know my hair will be you know start getting dry 
So my body knows when it needs water. And if water is not your thing, you know, at least make sure you do have a couple bottles of water a day. But coconut water. Coconut water is an excellent source that will keep you hydrated. Now that is something else that's going to help you go to the bathroom. But coconut water is also good. And I like the one with the pineapple in it. So I drink that. And you don't even have to like suck that down. Just kind of sip on it. And I literally feel like when I start drinking coconut water, I literally feel like I can feel my skin replenishing itself. So um, there's that. And then we are... My mom, she's out doing her walk right now. God bless her heart because it's cold as I don't know what outside. But she is out there walking right now. I'm I'm not that brave. It's cold. But we are going to start back doing our walks. And we're going to take you on our walks with us. You know, watching us, you know, get healthy. Cause, and that's the other thing. Get somebody to do this with you if you can. So you can have some kind of support system. Because um, me and my mom, we keep each other encouraged so we make sure you know not that we watching to see what each other eating but you know we checking on each other and checking in and making sure we doing you know just doing the right thing so um that is what that is what has attributed to my weight loss and i'm going to show you some pictures of me in um some outfits that i bought over the summer I'm sorry, yeah, that was at the end of the summer last year that I thought was a little bit too small for me. But now you can see how I fit in them and how much better they look now that I've gotten certain areas under control. So stay tuned for that, um, for those pictures. And that's it, guys. I just wanted to bring that up and, you know, let you know what I did. Not saying it's going to work for you. You have to find your own thing because... I struggled with finding my own thing in the beginning and now I think I got a handle on it so and plus we're getting older I'm not afraid to tell y'all I'm getting ready to be 48 this year no 49 oh my oh my gosh oh I'm about to be 49 Lord Jesus so I gotta get it together oh my god I'm about to be 49 I need a hug. Mommy, somebody come help me. All right, guys. So, yeah, I'm about to be I'm pushing 50, like, like real quick. So, I got to get it together. And I hope you guys decide to get it together, too. And, like I said, do what's right for you. Let me know what you're doing. Is it working? Is it not working? Let me know what's going on with you guys. And good morning, good evening, and good night, whatever time you're watching this video. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. See you then. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.